Hey there, welcome back. This week we are embarking on another London adventure, exploring a new bakery, visiting the museum of the home, and delving into the city centre to experience the longest running theatre play, as well as the lunar New Year's decoration. So come along and join us on this February journey through London. This weekend we encountered an issue with the Avacron, which happens frequently to be honest. So we had to make a stop in Dalston on our way to our initial destination. However, this day tour presented the perfect opportunity to check out the bakery I've been hearing about a lot on social media. It was recently featured as one of the best bakeries, not only in London, but in the whole UK. It was a must visit for me as I love bread. The bakery offers crusty chard loaves of potato sourdough, huge toasties and delicate pastries, all baked in-house. Though we only sampled their croissant and coffee, both were delightful. I will certainly go back to try their famous sourdough. Next, we arrived at the Museum of the Home, located in 18th century former Homes House, which are charitable housing. This free museum explored the concept of home and domestic life from 1600 to the present day. The galleries present diverse life experiences and ex examine the psychological and emotional connections people have with the idea of home. It also presents a series of period room displays. While we couldn't explore everything due to ongoing renovations, the museum proved to be a worthwhile visit if you are in the area though. I wouldn't deem it a must-see. Later that day, we'd made our way to the city centre, specifically Leicester Square, as we had reservations for The Mousetrap. This murder mystery play by Agatha Christie, which premiered in 1952, holds the distinction of being the longest running West End show and the longest run of any play worldwide. It is now in its 7th to 2nd year, which is impressive. The play is set in the 1950s and I appreciated the attention to detail and the decor and the costumes. While I found the ending somewhat predictable, especially compared to Christine's other works, I still thoroughly enjoy the experience and will definitely recommend it if you are seeking an engaging show. After leaving the theatre, we stroll through Chinatown marveling at the vibrant lunar New Year decorations.
Inspired by the festive atmosphere, we decided to indulge in corn chicken and tokkochi, which are fried rice cakes, which proved to be a delicious choice. The following day, I met up with a friend to explore Lee Valley, which is an area of London I've yet to visit. It is located in the north of London, and we embarked on one of the walks recommended by the website. Uh, we started at the Weatherwork Centre and traversed the Filterbird Nature Reserve. 150 years ago, the Filterbirds were supplying the surrounding boroughs with much needed clean water. But now, the industrial area has turned into a unique wildlife heaven and as one of the largest bird hides in London. It also hosts a collection of works by local artists. Despite a few instances of backtracking on the walk, which wasn't ideal, the clear weather made for an enjoyable outdoor experience. Before heading home, we treated ourselves to a well-deserved coffee break at a charming coffee shop in the area. Later that afternoon, I decided to whip up some crepes to celebrate Chandeleur, which is also known as French Pancake Day. My brother gifted me a convenient crepe shaker, which simplifies the process. I just have to follow the instructions, shake it, and pour the batter into the pan. Easy peasy. The minimal cleaning is an added bonus. We opted for traditional Nutella and sugar toppings, separately of course, that would be too sweet otherwise, even for me. I hope you enjoyed following along and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.